Let's see in this use case created by David Rossi and Chris Hankins uh, the beauty when you combine real-time events from mainframe as well as a distributed world to detect uh, malicious things. In this particular case there's the detection of FTP activity with the mainframe, hmm? USB manipulation, interesting, and going into sites that people should not have uh, been going through. And let's actually see the five events that contributed to this uh, offense and what we can see here is that well that's the ZOS mainframe that's the FTP good that's the mainframe telling us about that that's a custom rule that that fire this is the DLP event that's uh, the one that detects activity on the USB and the blue code proxy which is that the one that will detect the uh, going into sites that uh, they should have not gone to Let's display the rule to see the rule that actually fire in this case and it's as we see here is uh, made out of three building blocks the DAP the DLP activity with the USB the restricted website and the F and the file transfer to the mainframe and when those things match at least one time with the same user ID within five minutes this offense uh, actually fires Let's actually see these uh, three building blocks starting from the mainframe building block. Of the transfer from the mainframe actually is in the, this particular event. When we look at the actual event, we can pick it up by the event name or the category. But I think that the easiest way is actually the system is giving me, that's the actual payload and leaf format coming from the mainframe, is giving me the QID. So that that's uh, easy to create. Uh, the building block based on the occurrence of that uh, QID. So in here we see the FTP mainframe detected and as we said before the two conditions for the building block to be evaluated are that uh, it comes from the COS log source, the real-time feed from the mainframe and when the QID matches that QID that we saw before. It's pretty simple. Let's see the other two. And this is actually the DLP, which actually uh, has a device action co custom. And when it's that is connect, that means that somebody inserted a USB into the into the workstation, and it has its own log source and all that. Let's see the one that fires on the blue code proxy event. And this is the th third building block. Again, the first condition has to come from the blue code proxy log source and when a custom property called site it's in one of these uh, restricted websites uh, reference set uh, the condition is uh, evaluated true let's see the reference set here we are in the admin looking at the reference set and it was a restricted website and as we see we added the domains that we don't want people to actually go through. If we go to the UBA, we see these two users jumping up, J. Smith and RST Stoops. And what this is, is an example. You don't have to have your UBA always synchronized with an LDAP. And this is an example when, when the UBA sees user IDs that are not in the LDAP, they are reported individually. But this is actually the user ID of the Windows machine and this is actually the mainframe uh, user ID uh, that was actually involved in here. And going back to the rule that we were describing before, one of the things that we did and we have shown this in another videos in detail is that notice that in the event description we put this sense value equal 550 and that that is the big jump that uh, caused the event the, the risk to be associated uh, with the particular user and the UBA. And in fact, if we go back to the user the behavior analytics tool, we see that Jane Smith, Jane Smith that again, that's the user ID of the individual in the mainframe account. We see that, you know, the risk score incremented uh, 550. And I run the event uh, two times when I was debugging this. Uh, and, and we see how that contributed dramatically 
to the UVA. And again, you will tune these values according to whatever makes sense in your organization. And because in the UVA, I have it set up with a threshold of a thousand. Uh, on those two hits, we get the RSD uh, oops in this particular case, one of the two in, uh, user IDs involved in here has fired a particular sense offense, which is this is an, a, a UBA uh, type of offense. So again, a very simple example of how you can combine things on the mainframe and the distributed world to detect insider threats. You have a mainframe is because it holds valuable data and that's what the, tar the, the, the bad guys are after and they're going to use the networking environment to get to the mainframe and you can detect when somebody does that in a malicious way as we have shown here.